This is Saxon Geometry, Lesson 93, and we're going to talk about orthographic drawings. Now, this is a really simple lesson uh, for those of you in a digital world. Unfortunately, it's not as simple of a lesson for me to put up on the board, especially with my lack of drawing skills and abilities in three-dimensional. I went ahead and took a picture of the, uh, of the book for you here. Now, this right here, they ask you to draw and I'm creating an orthographic drawing. This is the three-dimensional image we're starting with. And if you can see the depth of it, it kind of looks like maybe a box and a box attached to going this way. Now, these F, S, and T, that's front, side, and top. And what we're going to do in orthographic drawings, we're going to represent this figure as if it was only two-dimensional or only seeing it. So it's like we're rotating and looking just on that side. And when we do so, we see the face of it, but we can't see any of the depth because everything behind it is, is faded down behind. So we only see that one side. If we talk about the top, so I'm looking down at it here, I'm looking at the top of it and I've got this box on a line showing that these are two different elevations, but I really can't draw those two dimensionally, so I draw those as just a single dimension here. Uh, then I've got uh, the difference on the side here and that's looking at this end. And once again, I can't tell that this face is not as deep as this face, but I can draw it that way. This is orthographic drawing. It's really simple to understand what we're doing. We're looking at just a three-dimensional object and representing it only one side at a time uh, from a two-dimensional view. And when we're doing this, they're going to ask you in these examples to match up what they possibly would look like. This is very similar to a net which was unfolding the box. This is just looking at the different angles from a straight on view on how it would look. Uh, now, for those of you who have ever modeled anything online or on a, on a computer, you know that it's really easy to have a model that's way out of proportion because you couldn't see the perspective. This is kind of what this is. You can't really tell the perspective. We're just taking it and turning it, only seeing one side or one face at a time and looking at all three views, front, side, and top, and, and representing them as flat images.